We live. I'm just gonna get out. You can get out. Yeah. Uh, I thought we were both stuck for a second there. Yeah, you can probably just seat change. I can seat change. Yeah, and get out. Oh. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> that was actually easier than I thought it'd be. I'm kind Give of disappointed. Give me a mantle here we are. And this one drives a little bit more fridge like, so I'm nice and comfortable with it. Fridge like? Yeah. Fridge. It drives like a fridge. It doesn't turn on a dime. That one is kind of screwing. That one's kind of throwing me because it turns so well. Oh, helicopter. Good one. What? Ooh. Yeah, screw the car. Helicopter. Ooh, even parked nicely. Let's put all of our resources into stealing this fucking helicopter. Let's just run in and take it. <laughs> yeah. If you think so. Wow, they are not kidding about the silenced drone. Oh, there's probably a dude in here. Yep. I know we're here. Be careful. There's one less bad guy. Are you already making a run for it? Or just sniping him? Just sniping him. They are perceptive. I don't even know who's spotting me. And now I've been spotted. Can't imagine why. Oh, I believe they killed the drone. Fuck it. Wait. Oh, Jesus. I should probably. Okay, you already got him. <laughs> yep. There were two of them up there. Two of them? I got the first one, then never got into it. Very nice, okay. Come on, pop back up. Got him. Okay. I gotta say, I much, prefer, I much prefer fighting these guys, because these guys don't have body armor. You only have to shoot them once. You only have to shoot any of them once, and once you get headshots. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them are wearing really heavy armor, so... They're over here. They are. You know, left or right minigun. I'll pilot. Um, I guess I'm on right. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of rebels down there. <laughs> Again, it'd be nifty if you could get him into the helicopter with you as like a yeah. impromptu fire team. Yeah. yeah, it would be. Yeah. I'm actually kind of thinking, uh, like they're not as useful. Like, my kind of midpoint for, uh, for NPC usefulness is the, uh, is the rebels in Half Life 2. Because they can kind of handle their own, but they're kind of dumb. Yeah. You can order them around and you can move them out of your way. Like at minimum. Well, you, that's what the NBC actually Yeah. But yeah, that's surprisingly competent. Yeah. Surprisingly. Once you put points into them. Most of these seem kind of like me. Oh, I probably shouldn't be approaching that close. There's Unidad. There's a lot of Unidad. There's many units. We've been spotted. We've been spotted. Okay, We've been go super live. spotted. Okay, I should probably dive back a little then. Take me a bit down then. Yeah. Oh, helicopter's not gonna like this much. I assume we're going back to that uh, refinery place for some reason. I don't know why I assume that. Oh, now they're on alert. I never imagined why. This isn't a stealth mission, is it? Um, no. Just a locate. That's good. I think one one you could stealth if you wanted to. And for some reason, Santa Blanca is attacking as well. Santa Blanca and you and Dad are both all over the place. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense for Santa Blanca to be here. That's why I'm surprised you and Dad were here, because this is the house. Yeah. Oh, it's probably because... Oh, wait, you and Dad was all over this place before. Yeah, I don't know. Helicopter might not be long for this world, this morning and now. 
You can take us in, I think, now. You think so? Okay. You see how bad? Oh, yeah, in the back. So the helicopter we're doing in there. Yeah. That might actually be one of the good ones, too. Also, it's down on the roof. Oh, more reinforcement cars are coming. Can you get us to cover the gate? Yeah, let me see if we can do that. Hang on. Watch it. It's gonna blow. Oh, or maybe not. Okay, we're going down. We're going down. Very hard. Dynamo! Shit. Oof. I've learned it's actually better not to jump out of the helicopter until it hits the ground. I think it was then, because, uh, that was messy. <laughs> I didn't let the helicopter landed on me. Into death. It's not like GTA, where it's the second a helicopter hits the ground, it explodes and you're dead. It'll actually land in one piece. It just explodes quickly afterwards, which I actually really prefer. Because all of GTA's vehicles are really super fragile. Oh, they're above me. You are way up there, aren't you? You gonna be doing the sniper fire thing, or...? Oh, wow, these are big glass windows, too. If I snap it, you mean move LMG, then yes. Okay, okay I'm, moving, I'm, I'm moving up. Everyone in the house is dead. Oh, they made a big mistake there. Yeah. All humming around that car. The car's, the car's already dead. No, it is. I don't know, guys. Well, that was a grenade. There's one guy left. There we go. Okay, we're clear. Tango's down. Alrighty. Damn. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, El Emisario has left the building. Killed himself rather than face his own grandfather. That's fucked up. I feel like we drove him to it. Come on, man, stop him with that shit. He made a choice. We need to check the body, see if he's got anything on him. It would have been a cool mission if we'd fight our way up here. Yeah. Instead, we just completely annihilated them in the courtyard. Yeah. It been, yeah, as you can see. It would have been nifty if he got up here and he was still kicking. Give you a nice choice. Uh, do we cut him down or we just leave him? I uh, saw a reason to make that difficult. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Hello. Yeah, there's the gun. Oh, this. this gun. Is that one of the old ones there? Yeah, the oh, antique ones. Bowman, this is Nomad. We found El Emisario. He's dead. What happened? He killed himself. Left a note to El Sueño taking the blame for the loss of the labs in Okoro. Guess the shame of failing his grandfather was just too much to take. Mm. We had El Yeo by the nuts and now this. Guess he wasn't quite the fuck up we thought he was. He just didn't break the way we expected him to. It happens sometimes. Do this sort of thing a lot? I do whatever it takes to get the job done. Same as That's cold. Yeah. Oh, video available. I do kind of understand where the uh, where where the uh, the guy's coming from, considering you know we did fuck up kind of his whole operation ever. But uh, yeah, <laughs> inconvenient. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, the uh, uh, the boss is probably gonna kill him anyway, so. Yeah. Don't get into the dark trade, kiddies. Did you know what's the videos? But, oh, uh, I haven't in a while. Oh. That's quite interesting. Yeah. I mean, that one was about oh, yeah, yeah, and the gringo not getting along. I try not to watch them like when we're going around doing stuff. Maybe. Yeah, it might be interesting people to watch. Okay. You just say when, so I'd keep quiet. Alright. I don't know, it's different ways of doing it, innit? Yeah. I don't even actually care about, well, no one cares about the story, but people care about the content. Yeah. Of the actual game, or yeah, this is about the actual game. Yeah, I only missed a Kingsley file, and that's the place somewhere. Did we? Yeah. Which one was nine nine? Which one was that one you just got? That's a video you get for killing the guy. No. Oh, uh... Every time, every time you kill one, you get a video. Never got one for killing Cartier too. 
Do we? Oh, right, yeah, him. It doesn't actually show up in the King's Lair file. It must come into a separate. Yeah. I got the Karzita one, I think. Which is a mouthful, so let's call him what his rich friends do. Karzita. Because it's not the Bowman briefing, it's something else. Yeah. I get the one about Karzita, like you said. I'm watching that now. Yeah, no, not Karzita isn't about killing Karzita. It's about. Yeah. Um, just what he does, what he did. It's very dead, you know. D. Phil from Oxford to acquire a little sophistication and some good English clothes. Now he gets his own resort to run. This used to be a national park. But there is a degree of um, an exclusive resort. direction here. It's here that yeah. does what Carzita does best. Making connections between Santa Blanca and anyone that's anyone. CEOs, politicians, judges, socialites, even celebrities. You know who that is, right? Hint. She just went to rehab for saying something racist. <laughs> Topical. Cartel is more than just business deals. It's a level of corruption we've never seen before, and it's on you to stop it. Ooh, we got a custom we pistol now. Do we? we stop the okay. The BFF. Hmm. It looks like a um. It's a very small, like PPM kind of pistol. Yeah. Very good damage, but no silencer again. Same as all these guns. Yeah. I don't know what's up with that. I know, when you're using the pistol, I think damage doesn't matter so much. I'm going to stick with the USG for the sign, for the uh, ammo cap. Right, right. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything about. It. It's weird. I, it definitely popped up with, "Hey, here's a video to watch," but I'm not seeing anything about it. Yeah, I'm talking about it dies as well because it's uh, no, it doesn't qualify as part of the King's levels. I mean, we have the. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we definitely have the intel about uh, about the dude. Well, we can watch that might as well. But weird. You all know oh, I see. What? Each uh, each of the videos are not about um. But you may not know his grandson. Each of the videos uh. Oh. The emissary. But. Hold on. Oh, is it is it around like the uh, the central guy? Is that what the intel for them is? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. But didn't jump in that king's stuff all the Was that? Emissario looks up to Yayo and do anything to honor him, to make him proud, which is exactly what makes El Emissario the perfect target. His greatest fear is shame. I wonder if it's... And then I like, think about it, because the first one was about... When I watched uh, well, after competing Kazi, it was about Raymond Feliz. And this one was about the Gringo. Right. Who are the underbosses. Right, okay. Go for the three Bouchons, then we fight the underboss, then we fight the head of that department. I wonder if we'd snuck our way in if, he'd, uh, if he hadn't, if he wouldn't have hanged himself. Or... Yeah, it seems like something he did before we even showed up. Okay. Yeah, I expect he didn't spawn that to the mission, though. Yeah. Or this door would be locked, because that would be the way they do it, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. He's inside at the door's chat. <laughs> ah, okay, so right, the Bowman briefing about Oyo and La Gringa. These are new. And this should be off. cocaine production pipeline, led by uh, they, they, they said they had the new tag on them. Harvesting of the Erythrox Lomnova granitens, aka the coke plant. This is actually species of Erythrox. This is actually a pretty good briefing. Contain usable levels of cocaine, so you have to know what you're. Oh yeah, yeah, we do King stuff on. Yeah, you can only access from the. What he's planting. Yeah, from the from the LEA one. And well, in this sec in this case, probably the other ones too. And sent to the lab. That's where this chick comes in. The Gringa here is an American chemist with Mensa level IQ and sub zero morality numbers. Oh, hang on, yeah, they're on the. Yeah. They take the they're on the head of. Put up, no, no, you're now a card now. Right. Yeah. Lime, then pour diesel fuel all over them. Stir for three days. You can use a washing machine or a cement mixer, but Santa Blanca does it by hand. Then they mix all this shit with sulfuric acid, a dash of caustic soda, and bam. Cocaine paste. Who came up with this fucking recipe? Seriously, this is. This is, must exist before. This is so fucking complex. It's gross. So, a little more acid, some potassium permanganate, pyrolusite, hungry. Filter with ammonia and beautiful 
pure white cocaine. But everyone knows how to do this, right? What makes Santa Blanca so special? What makes SB a brand? Because they figured it out. How to mass produce a custom product. Plant genetics, logistics, mechanization, state-of-the-art labs, reduction of redundancies, quality control, purity of chemicals, and, of course, the secret sauce. They're geniuses. They've taken coke production into the 22nd century. What Henry Ford did for the factory, they've done for the lab. They're innovators, they're pioneers, they're SB. Hmm. So essentially they brought coke production up into like carrot and barley production. <laughs> Just make more money. Yeah, pretty much. Let's see what the word of swingo is and this. These are interesting because they're in a completely different style from the briefings. Versus yeah. Youth versus age. La gringa versus el diario. I had been hoping they would complement each other, but they could not get along. They were too different. I have been producing cocaine this way for years. That's exactly the problem. Our product was so good, the demand was only increasing. We couldn't keep up. I don't care how you do it. Science, tradition, or voodoo. Just make more. Or I'll find someone that can. I'm surprised the American government doesn't want to take over that kind of production. So far, it looks like we're probably going to have to kill a Elieo and probably extradite the, uh, as, I don't know if that's the right word, the scientist check. It's possible. So far, we've killed we've killed one underboss, captured one underboss, and the other underboss killed himself. Yeah, <laughs> not a variety there. Great track record in his league, but <laughs> good variety. Fingers blistered. Yeah. Back aching, feet bleeding, but never in all that time. going to go next? He once extract the alkaloids to make cocaine. To Yayo, the coca leaf was an ancient tradition, going back eight thousand years. Yeah, we gotta figure out where we're going next. I'd say either Kimanes or, well, we could go for either production in Tobacco, which is right up to the north past Agua Verde and next to Media Luna. Right. Or we could go uh, east to Kimanes, which is a uh, smuggling one, and that's a lot of waterways. Hmm. That's the one with the, uh, the crazy submarine, right? Yeah. Or we go west he to Barvisho, which is kind of mountainous, deserty kind of place, and to answer the uh, another smuggling one. Yeah. Which biome do you feel like? Any of them? There is also Picara to the south, which is the one with that huge ass uh, house. Well, it seems like I me. Mean, it, it seems to me like the big ass house would probably be where El Sueño actually is. It says it's the Sueño Mausoleum. Is it? Well, yeah, like I said, that's where he is. Cause well, I don't think he lives thing. in the mausoleum. <laughs> that's and fair. It a free, and it is a three-star area. It's an influence one. Yeah, that is fair. So I don't know any of these people. Inca Camina is another one of the ones where there's no underboss or anything. It just seems to be a place. Yeah, but I think we decided not to go for these kind of places. Yeah, because they they're they probably stupid hard. And they're probably story-related. Well, so. I think that the Mini Luna is just super hard because it is a. Uh, it is a unit edge place. That's closer to the edge as well, isn't it? Yeah. Like, the Cruz seems like it probably isn't nearly as bad. Maybe. Keep in mind, Itakua is the center, sort of. Yeah. So. And is the only it? one star area. This is a big fucking map, but we've already covered a lot of it, actually. It's not not that huge now that we're looking at it. And how much no, we've covered it. It's time consuming to get everything. Yeah. So the last, which one? Uh, this was actually the only other two star area, was it? Yep. Hmm. That's exactly. We've done the one star and the two stars. So I'm saying next the three stars are Tobacco, Kemanes, Bukhara, and Barbershows. Two, two. I think this is four or five. What was that? Ah, uh, Barbershows. They all have two weapon cases in them. That's kind of the big thing I'm looking for. Let's do let's do Barvechos. We haven't played, we we haven't really poked at much of the uh, the west side of the map yet. Sure thing. Um, 
We can fast travel to observation post. Like fast travel to attack with Bravo, which is literally right next to it. Yeah, yeah. You want to do that then? Yeah. Okay. Should we go now. Or? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Oh. I wonder how far away we can get from each other. <laughs> Good question, actually. We've gotten pretty far away from each other before. Um. We have, yeah, we have. When you were driving, when you were flying the plane. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Another chopper here. Excellent. Yeah, perfect. Probably a shit one now because we're in a tag war. So I actually noticed. Uh, yeah, not even a minigun one. <laughs> Jesus, I noticed I that really there's a loading tip it. here that actually kind of interested me, which uh, I, I don't, I didn't get to it there, but it was something along the lines of, uh, if after you take out two of the underbosses, like the big underbosses, like uh, Yayo and someone else, it'll actually, uh, El Swingy will do something that lets us, that we could attack him then, or we could keep going and get everything. Yeah, yeah, we have to defeat. We technically have to defeat two of the heads. So yeah. But to get to the heads, we have to defeat every Bouchon. Yeah, so there's still progression, but. Uh, yeah, so you, you still have to. You have to. Yeah, which are the lowest ones? That's five. We still need to tell kill there's ten only of those four guys. For security. I'm saying we we we'll, we will probably get all of them, but I'm just pointing out that it's interesting. Yeah, but we're we're the kind of people who would go to Elswain as soon as you can and call the game done. <laughs> yeah, no. We're not speedrunners. Okay, um, I marked this as it looks like the closest settlement. Okay. It was a settlement, might be in like a mining camp, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what this place is. Altiplano Silver mining. Province okay. and Money Laundering Center. And yeah, that does look very miney, you're right. I'll we'll go down there, let the lieutenant. We can grab him. Okay. Then we can get some intel. Yeah, you go down there Marked first. Him. Okay. Uh, where's a good place to land? Probably up here on this plain. Looks nice and flat. Not too far. Yeah. We're going to get back to the chopper. But I want to get a fair distance away from this building so we can set down without being spotted. Well, I don't think there's any enemies here. It yeah. says lieutenant, but it might just be an informant. Oh, yeah. So I don't oh. see any red dots. Oh, I do see a purple dot, but that's like you know, one spot. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like nothing. We could probably like, just land on the road. That's probably right. one of those little shitty recruiting posts. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Bowman, we just crossed into Barbechos. Good news. Find your sent an account named Polko to Barbechos to check out Nidia Flores. Where is the lieutenant? Yeah, okay. Oh, he's not. No, he's just running away from the helicopter. <laughs> So whether she's skimming from Swainu or not, Nydia is not happy to have Pulpo looking into her. The cartel smuggles its profits into Barbados from Brazil, no and the most yeah, yeah, yeah. through Blanco de Barbados. With Pulpo already about to gum up the works, there has to be some way we can use that to sabotage the entire process. Maybe Swainu already believes Nydia Flores has sticky fingers. To know for sure, we need to get hands on Pulpo. Our intel places his junior partner and right-hand man, a guy named Wagner, at a silver mine in Barbados. Grab Wagner and make him cough up for location. Isn't it Wagner? Uh, yeah, I think it would be actually. The CIA officer just sent us a video. Who's got the popcorn? El Popo. Popo. We'll watch this Here's first. Yeah, I guess we'll watch this first. Mark. Okay. Lots of this in this episode. All the videos in the world ain't worth piss if you don't have the accountants to wash the money clean. Octavio Allende is the accountant that does Sueño's laundry. They call him El Pulpo, the octopus. Because he's got his <laughs> That's less cool. Everywhere. Yeah. Out, a lot of other pieces no longer connect, but I want to use him as a weapon. Pulpo is management, and he knows it. Instead of an AK-47, he has a briefcase, and he uses it to open doors to businesses, to cement relationships with politicians and police, and to make the cartel's money something they can spend. Thanks to El Pulpo, in addition to its illegal enterprises, Santa Blanca has its cash in numerous legit businesses. El Sueño has brought El Pulpo to Bolivia to audit Lydia Flores. Cash from Brazil comes into Barbechos, where much of it is laundered into the mining consortium. Lydia's profits must be looking a little light. So after an accountant. <laughs> yep. And the guy wandered off from us. 
Oh, there it is. It's still in the, it's come back to his house. Yeah. I think it must unload the game and then reload it whenever we go do that, because it will whenever we go from that. Or he just wandered off, I don't know. Do you want to talk to him or should I? I'll, I'll talk to him. him. Hola. Get down. You hear anything about the cartel of the Sicarios around here? Uh, which one do you feel like? Spy raids, skill points, or rebel ops? We don't go for skill points, don't we? Yeah. Gracias. Alright. Let's have a look at it. What one in town? Oh, that's nice. So, the first place. Let's get the skill point in town first. Silver mine. Yeah, yeah, let's get that. Agreed. There's a Kingslayer file there, too. And a green dot. Whatever the hell green dot means. I think that might be rebel. Actually. No one must know. Any of the kings so far. Uh, keep in mind that skill point is probably where the uh, where the unit at is. Uh, no, it's not actually. Really? Man, unit suck. Out. They just suck. No, it's a fair amount of unit there actually. Not just one guy. Okay, so this this Kingslayer file is a suitcase just sitting against the wall, basically. And this metal just sat on a workbench. The heist. Okay. Lived inside a house. Hmm. Oh, so the Katari Twenty Six uh, did a heist on uh, on some kind of. It's basically them doing what we do: is where you attack the convoy and stuff. Hmm. I have a bunch of skills available all of a sudden. Ooh, advanced suppressor. Ooh, yes. Takes off the damage reduction. I don't really do hip fire all that much. I'll try not to. Battery proof, real nice, actually. I'm gonna do range next. Oh, hi there. <laughs> From when I thought you were an NPC. <laughs> Because you, that's pretty much what NPCs do. They just wander up and just stare at you. while you're doing stuff. Hello. Probably should holster guns. <laughs> Shit, we got company. Hey, I found a Santa Blanca medal. This will make a nice souvenir. Uh, how do you? Oh, it's behind. I thought it was inside the building. You think Santa Blanca gives out a lot of these? All right. All right. Yeah. So where to from here? We got a location there. We could fly over in the helicopter. We got a skill point there. Yeah. Up to you though. Look at that location. It's probably some minor checkpoint or something. Yeah. Uh, where's where did I land? Oh, I landed in the road, didn't I? Helicopter's just around here. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, I got stuck in an outhouse. <laughs> we'll just do a flyby of the area you've marked, and then yeah, we'll head yeah. off to uh, exactly the area's land. <laughs> That's a king's left file there. It's quite possible there is, but it's a 10 foot in the right places. Yeah, it is not the right seat. I should fly this helicopter with my mind! Oh, semi related. Um, did you see the. Uh, I don't know if you if you watch uh, Rick and Morty, but uh, they were streaming the uh, the first episode of the new season. Uh, uh, like, uh, car not Cartoon Network. Whoever the hell hosts it now? I think Adult Swim. Yeah. Yeah, they were streaming that, and I think it was just for the audacity of they're streaming the first episode of a season that hasn't that isn't out yet on April first because because they know no one is going to believe them. <laughs> kind of funny. Yep. Alrighty, so that was just like a farm. Or, well, it's really just a shack. Super remote play. Oh. Yeah, what the heck is going on here? I, I'm trying to figure out what this what this area's thing is, you know what I mean? Well, it's going to be mining based on all the things that have flawed being said. Yeah, but it's just like. Not it's a quite. motel. Yeah. There is an intel cache there if you want to land, oh. or we can just not bother. Well, we already spotted it. We can if we want. Oh, that's a leader. Oh, there's a side mission there. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to go there. So we should go there? Okay. He's already running. Hell. Oh, damn it. Right. After him. Uh, you probably should have taken the passenger seat, I just realized. Yeah. I didn't think we were going to get into a gunfight. Yeah. If you can fly ahead, I can try and grab a car. Okay. 
Well, you didn't pull a Yui on us, it should work. Hush. Can you get closer to the ground so I can literally just jump out? Yeah, I can do that. Go. Oh, he's right past you. Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. Ah, oh, very nice. The lieutenant's on the run. I get gun cases first. If, if you have an option. I got him. To be able to okay. speak to your boss when you see him and tell him he's in for much worse. Your legs, though, your arms, you can still talk without those, right? Oh, God, no. I talk so much better when I'm not in pain. So much better. <laughs> I think that sent the right Bang. message. I bet Ooh. he fucking pissed himself. His own people are going to be laughing at him. All right, say he's about to let me tell. Okay. That went really well. Yeah. I'm proud of my flight. Yeah. And next episode will be exactly close enough that I can change my gun. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy because I, I I did this really cool thing where I was gliding really nicely just over the road. Anyway, next episode we'll be over that hotel. Yeah. Be right back. Be right back.